So OpenAI's advanced voice mode is out, but it is not yet available in the EU, in the UK, Switzerland, Iceland, Norway, or Liechtenstein. I don't know how you say that, but listen, this video is going to be for you guys. So this actually will show you guys exactly how to use this software right now um, with a few quick tools so you can access it. So without any wasting any more time, just watch the entire video because it might not work for everyone, but I give solutions for every single, you know, error you're going to face. So this is a quick tutorial on how you can actually get advanced voice mode, even if you live in the UK or EU. I know that some people want to use this and I am with you on this because this mode should be out by now and it's not. So what you want to do is you want to load up ChatGPT like you can see I've got on my screen here. And firstly, you want to make sure that you go into advanced voice mode. Well, you don't have it yet, but like this is what you want to do to check if you have it or if you don't have it. So just click the bottom right icon. And then once you click the bottom right icon, What will happen is we we'll wait for a few seconds. I just I did just cough. I got like a sore throat. So you wait for a few seconds. This white thing will pop up. And if you don't have advanced voice mode, press the top right. You'll see this little information icon and it will say advanced voice mode is on its way. Uh, it's starting to roll out. Not all users have access, but we'll let you know when you do. So what you have to do is just click OK. Then, of course, um, you know, you can talk to the AI. So you can say, hey, chat GBT, how are you doing? Uh, and hopefully it responds. Um... Okay, it, okay, there we go. There we go. It responded. So now I know that it's not the advanced mode because it's not got a blue screen. So what I want to do now is I want to just change things really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and activate advanced voice mode. So I'm going to load up NordVPN. And then what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to do a quick connect to a random location. So you want a location to either be America, USA, or any location that's not in um, the UK or EU. So you can see I've connected to Australia right now. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and shut down the app. So now that I've shut down the app, I'm going to load the app one more time. Let's see if this actually works. So now I'm on an Australian VPN. I'm going to connect again. And if this doesn't work, it's completely fine. What, what I will show you guys is another way to do it because it does activate. Hello. How are you doing, ChatGPT? Okay, so it doesn't work yet, but here's what we need to do, okay? So if that doesn't work, what you need to do now is you need to try the second method, which is just signing out and signing back in. So I'm going to try that. Okay, it's checking system health. Uh, and let's just click this one more time. Hello, chat GPT. How are you doing? Um, you doing great? I think it's loading, actually. Um, here we go. So there. Yeah, there, there you guys can see it. So um, I've logged out and I've logged back in and now I am here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Chat GPT, I was just recording a video showing them how to access advanced voice mode. That's awesome. How did the demo go? Did everything work smoothly? Uh, yeah, everything works pretty smoothly. Thank you for asking. Great to hear. Sounds like your viewers will have a useful new tool at their disposal. So here is something that's going to help you out quite a lot if you don't if you can't manage to get your VPN working. Um essentially don't click quick connect. Uh what you might want to do is you might want to uh of course just check out different regions. So for example, what we might want to check out is we might want to check out for example um you know United States. So because I'm living in the UK, I don't know why this is the case, but when I checked out the United States, what will happen is that um, not all of these servers will work. You can see that, you know, this is currently NordVPN and I've got many different, different servers here. So the thing is, what you ideally want to do is you ideally want to try out as many servers as possible. So this is what I did in order to actually get this to work. I tried out the United States first and then the United States server it didn't actually work at all. So I said, okay, the United States server isn't working. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look for some other locations. I did uh, Atlanta. I did New York. I did Miami. All of those didn't work. So then what I did was I went to the locations on here and then I checked um, Australia. So I would recommend trying, you know, places outside of the EU that are more in the, the West. So for example, you can just search and then you can try Australia. Okay, so you can see Australia's here. And then this is the one that did work for me. And Australia as well, they do have five different cities. Okay, so that one does work. Now, when you're doing your VPN, I want to show you guys something to make sure that this works. Because when you activate any VPN, if your VPN actually does work, it's going to pop up with an add-on that will say, this application needs to change your current location. 
and you're just going to have to make sure you click allow because this was at my first time using a mobile VPN. So I would say that if you're using a VPN, make sure that you click allow because if you don't, your location is not going to change. Look, there's this website called mylocation.org and this website is going to let you know if your VPN location is actually accurate and active. If your VPN location says something like your actual location where you know you are, then you know that the VPN end isn't working. So if I refresh this page, you should say Australia somewhere. Yeah, there you go. So you can see right now that this VPN is currently working. You can see it currently says that I am in Australia. So when you go on mylocation.org, you'll know that the VPN is 100% active. And this is what I actually had to do to just double check to make sure that this um, you know, thing was working. Also, 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 I'm going to add this into the video because I want you guys to know this as well. On the App Store, um, for example, VPNs, I use, uh, I think I use Surfshark and I use NordVPN, but there are other applications out there that do have free VPNs, okay? And with these free VPNs, what you have to understand is that you don't need exactly like, um, you don't need to buy a VPN if you don't want to. Some people are thinking that, you know, you need to buy this VPN in order to make this tutorial work. You don't actually need to buy a VPN to make this work. You've got a free VPN. In fact, if you actually just search free VPN, um, you'll be able to see that VPNs are actually here. Um, let me see if there's a VPN. So yeah, you've got these VPNs. Make sure you check the reviews. I, don't, I haven't downloaded any of these, but you can see that some of these are free. Of course, you wouldn't want one that has a, you know, a quick location to nearby because what VPNs will do is when you put them on, they'll actually put a location initially to one that's just not your home address. So for example, it might be my one would be somewhere in the UK, but it wouldn't be my house. Or for example, if you live in Germany, it would be somewhere in Germany. That's just not your house. So make sure that you disconnect that immediately when they put that on and then actually set the location to a random one. So you've got another free VPN here. So I would say if the current VPN doesn't work, download a different free one um, and then try that free one as well. And even if you, even if any of these free ones aren't working, get NordVPN or get Surfshark VPN. And then what you can do is you can activate a free trial. And then with that free trial, you can then just, uh, you know, use it for like seven days and then you can just, you know, cancel that VPN after that. Okay. Because this thing is really frustrating. The fact that we're not allowed to, um, you know, get this, you can see right here that OpenAI have tweeted stating that, you know, it's not available in the UK, EU, Switzerland, Iceland, Norway, and Liechtenstein. I, I do apologize if I just absolutely uh, butchered that com that country's name. I just have a cough right now and I don't know if I could do all of the or whatever. Uh, yeah, the pronunciations right now is not going to be great. But basically, um, these locations are not, you know, anywhere it is. So avoid any of these locations, uh, mainly USA, America. And those locations tend to work for me. So try the United States, try America, then of course, try New Zealand. And also guys, when you actually do get advanced voice mode, don't forget as well, if the closing the app I actually did instead of closing the app is I actually made sure that I uninstalled the app and I reinstalled the app again, guys. So that was something that I did as well that um, could help you guys out a bit more. So that was something that I think, you know, can work if you guys want to try that out as well. So I think... This is kind of annoying, the fact that we have to go around all of these hoops just to access, you know, a simple advanced AI feature. You know, this is, you know, just how the world is sometimes. But yeah, this is exactly what I'm saying, guys. So with that being said, I would say to you all, um, this is exactly how you do it. If you have any tips, leave them down in the comment section below. And don't forget, this is pretty useful because anytime other AI features come out, oftentimes the EU lags behind. So this is a way for you to get those features immediately. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, like good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.